overly deferential on supreme court judgment on demonetization while upholding demonetization supreme court failed to hold government accountable it is an oft repeated judicial view that courts must defer to the elected government's judgment in matters of economic and social policy their interventions are usually limited to instances where executive decisions are palpably arbitrary or patently illegal in this backdrop it is no surprise that four of the five judges on a constitution bench of the supreme court deferred to the government's wisdom in dramatically announcing the move on november 8 2016 to demonetize all 500 and 1000 notes that were then in circulation the scope of judicial intervention was only to examine the decision making process but the majority has given its uncritical endorsement to the process terming it to be free of flaws it has upheld the government's power to demonetize notes without quantitative restrictions and accepted the claim that there was adequate consultation between the union government which initiated the proposal and the reserve bank of india what might seem distressing about the majority verdict is that it has made light of the enormous suffering of the people that demonetization entailed while there are observations that recognize the possibility of hardship and that demonetization may have ultimately been a failure these are limited by context to say neither individual suffering nor errors of judgment can be cited to invalidate the action para the majority has brushed aside substantial arguments based on proportionality holding that demonetization survives every test for proportionality there was a legitimate purpose unearthing fake currency and hoarded wealth and combating terror funding there was a nexus between the action and the objectives and the court did not have the expertise to suggest a less intrusive way of achieving these objectives however it does not properly address the question on whether the adverse consequences could have been limited it is unfortunate that the court had nothing critical to say about the government failing to anticipate the ruinous effect of extinguishing the value of 86% of available currency on the economy and the immense misery it heaped on the population justice b b nagarathanna's dissent holding the process to be flawed and the rbi's approach to be without application of mind is a consolation for those who want the courts to hold those in power to account in a larger sense of course a judicial rap on policy questions matters little but it might give governments 
कॉज फॉर पॉज बिफोर इंप्लीमेंटिंग डिसीजंस विथ फार रीचिंग कंसिक्वेंसेज फॉर द पीपल